Alice in Wonderland is Lewis Carroll's delightful children's story that is more than just a whimsical tale of a young girl's adventures. It is also a complex work of literature that satirizes the values of Victorian life. Inspired by Carol's lifelong fascination with ten-year-old girls, this enchanting fantasy has been a favorite of children and adults alike for over one hundred years. Alice is bored because her sister is reading a book when all of a sudden a white rabbit wearing a vest runs by mumbling something about being late. Not being able to mind her own business, Alice follows the rabbit into a hole and falls down and down landing with a thud. Alice finds a bottle that says drink me, so she drinks it and gets very, very small. She finds a cake that says eat me, so she eats it and gets very, very tall. Curiouser and curiouser, cries Alice, which isn't good English, but it gets the point across. Then Alice begins to shrink again and falls into a pool of her own tears, along with a mouse, a duck, a dodo, a lorry, and an eaglet. After another grueling round of drink me, eat me, Alice runs into the woods where she meets a blue caterpillar sitting on a mushroom puffing on a hooker. Alice, baby, what's happening? Mellow out. This is Wonderland. So Alice chomps on some mushrooms and the Duchess sneezes because there's too much pepper in the soup. The Cheshire cat keeps grinning and the world's ugliest baby turns into a squirming pig. <laughs> then it's time for tea. The mad hat of the March Hare and the sleepy dormouse talking stupid riddles, so Alice finds more stimulating conversation in a garden of talking flowers. Next, the Queen of Hearts plays croquet with flamingo mallets and hedgehog balls, and then Alice takes the stand in the trial of the missing tarts. Alice's testimony so angers the Queen that she shouts, What? What the head? Which is Alice's cue to wake up and face the facts. It was all just a dream, and a good thing, too, for Alice knew nothing of tarts and even less of torts.